Now Offlane Void? It is. Copy style. Where, you know, you pick something. Oh, he's hit. The extra cheek. He's trying to go for a deep kill here. Level 6 picked up by Nia. No oh, they're going to get bot first. Afu. It's Jackie that's able to pick that one up. So, very nice. In the last hit there was Q. Strike. It's on the mark. Cold snap follow up. Afu, they need to try and take up the battery sword here. Roger will do so, but they still end up losing Afu. Trader one for one in the supports. Fearless. No room or men of right click. Not enough. Oh my, that was close. Able to just sprink away was Roger. But you know, some nice early rotations around this mid. Wanting to keep the harass up onto Fearless. You know, he's having a decent start. Sitting towards the bottom end of the uh, the net worth charts, Masaros is the one that's really been suffering quite heavily. Where are you going? Sunstrike setup. This is what we saw in their previous game with the Invoker, but it does leave Fearless a little bit vulnerable for a dive. Flying Axe taping forward. Fearless got another round of the abilities. Cold Snap controlling up Nia. Get some protection of the Resident Pulse. He's actually even going to commit on forward because he still has another use of the actual set. In and out constantly. Nia's Void Spirit. Popping off in Your this game on three and zero, and we see so often, and and it's just Radiance the pressure. Like this is really. Sh he was able to continually chase down. Get uh, we'll the kill. They're trying to go for a kill here onto Fearless again, who's just TP back. He's gonna back up. They get the sun strike connection, but Nier is out of mana and also out of a lot of health as well. So they'll punish both two heroes and turn it into a third as Roger will fall. Great play, finally motivate. They're bringing all the numbers here, but it's just, I mean, what are we feeling for a feel? That's too for pure damage though. So you know, it depends who you can catch. Mid one, he's in full agile form right now. He's really committed for a double use of the ultimate. Here. They'll miss this stun. Mid one's gonna commit on forward. Great chronosphere onto two, but the sun strike just gets a clip on the void sprint. That's all the damage they needed to bring down Nia. Mid one's gonna be careful as well, because he showed off for the fight. The two-man tornado. They try and target down the Grimstroke, knowing that mid one, he committed full with the waveform, and it's going to be very difficult for him to get back to safety. Even KP showed up. Fortunately, the Cogs not going to push mid one back. Raw solo on the clockwork with the balls is plenty of damage. Mid one, don't go back in the sun strike. Oh, so close. It's still slowed down. The waveform dilation, allowing them to continue chasing further and further into the river. But Nia's yeah. respawn and Nia's gonna punish. That was so close. Mid one was getting greedy. He wanted to use the adaptive strike to secure that last hit onto the clockwork. Nearly ends up costing. Yeah, they've got a couple of deep wards, which is Mid quite one. nice. I'm hearing a hookshot here. Hex. They've got the finger of death. Sunstrike needs the damage. Oh. Just helps Fearless get another kill. It will cost him his life. And it's Jackie. also gonna cost Jackie his life too. Great move from SMG. Unfortunately, losing mid one, but you get both the position one and position two of Motivate. He's not doing An what Echo I think he's doing. Nia, oh, should get the kill on Fearless. He's not going Echo Saber, right? Like, this is just a awkward build up into, oh crap, I need a beat. Like, I. I Echo? Radiance bottom tower. I'll wait for the, uh, the action to stop. Actually, Chrono here we go. on two mid one. He Great it positioning. Up. Done. Tanks the damage with the sun track. Now Q is in a really awkward positioning from the clockwork. They'll end up falling. Meanwhile, Dyer making a really cute maneuver with this smoke. They're going to be able to catch out Jackie. Great awareness. SMG recognizing that the Phantom Assassin not going to be getting involved in that team fight. And that he wants to be farming around the top side. So they smoke, get the pick off. Meanwhile, this fight is continuing down bot. Hextop is the Morphling mid one. Doesn't have too much strength to play with. They've got the control. Mid one will fall. He is still going to show up. He's got the Arcane Rune in the arsenal. Is this going to be enough here? Jumps on, on top of Fearless. He doesn't have any protection. Again, Fearless, he's going to get caught out this greedy Exorp build. Not paying off this game for Fearless's Invoker. And Nia still with the Arcane Rune. He's looking to punish here. They're going to think about going up the high ground. Astral Step still on cooldown. So they will get back to safety. Good positioning by Q to be able to protect his cause. Hoping for the lucky crits in onto Roji, but not going to happen. He has an echo. You can disassemble the echo saber. So he's going to go like this God King style. Jackie might die here. Jump in. Let's see this echo saber come into play. 
Never mind, maybe it's KP actually. Hook shot, Sunstrike. Easy setup for the pickoff. They don't have Chrono in case the team fight breaks out. Great prioritization, however, from the Void Spirit trying to jump Lion. It's a lot of the control and a lot of the burst with a finger of death as well. Even mid one's looking to get involved. Jackie just picked up the Battle Fury. But with this item, you want to be farming, not getting involved in these team fights. But because of SMG's constant pressure, he feels forced. Steve Masteros, Fearless, they're playing around each other, wanting to provide a little bit of extra protection. Missing on the Earth Spike. I don't know if you can continue to do this. Well, they're going to hook back on KP. Even Chrono committed. Rogi actually doesn't get stuck in the Chrono. Now that's on cooldown, along with the Cataclysm. So Dyer, they're going to think about fighting, knowing that the big abilities are all wasted here just for the kill on KP. I'll get both the supports. Radiant. More space for Jackie, though. On the front lines, making sure it still lives. He's got the Aegis to be able to play around with, and I'm sure they've got a timer on that Chronosphere cooldown He doesn't get well. the attribute shift. They want to burst him down with a finger or drop some extra combos. He'll get the protection. Now they're focusing down Q's clockwork. They didn't heavily Astros commit. Needs mana. Mid one. He needs mana. Oh. All right, well, Jackie's back alive. BKB snorting yet completed. There goes the Chrono Cataclysm on both the heroes in the back line. They'll tear apart the Grim Stroke. Beastmaster's going to fall as well. Great use of the abilities from Motivate. But they're looking to try and catch more. Mid one, he can turn a man fight, but mid one, a little bit of miscommunication. Neo actually wants to retreat away. Now the hesitation puts mid one in an awkward position, bashed up twice in a row. And Fearless should be able to chain lock him down. Neo needs to come back over, but it's a bit too late here. Gets the attribute shift, finger of death's gonna be there with a the hex fall, rocket flare, all the damage trying to be used. Mid one, tornado, but they're still able to catch him in the tree line and the morphlings down. SMG. Back-to-back -back games here. They walk up the higher gun and throw a... Hey, B for himself, and he can start to look the front line now that you're not having to worry about taking out the oh, two roll. lines. Fearless, he's going to get caught. Great catch from KP. That blink coming into play here. See that dire... Their pickoffs on key targets are really starting to ramp up and it's just showing across the map with how they're playing as well. That is BKB, though, completed, I believe, on Jackie, we just see. Yes, I'm not sure if I'm super crazy about this. Uh, oh, what have they found out here? KP actually blinks into two. BKP. In on the back lines. Q, the back what a hook line. shot. Q finds all three. You bet you wish you had Cataclysm. Mid one's going to try and replicate forward. I mean, Q space nets them the kill on KP, but Mastros is still slowed down by the dilation, and Rogi's got the micro as well to further lock him in. You're gonna end up losing two. You have. Why not? You know they're so cooldown reliant. Chronosphere is gonna be up in ten seconds. Q. Long time for that cataclysm. Oh, Seventy no. seconds Q away. Q baited on the them. Mastros, Chrono still on cooldown. He's about to come back up. If he drops it, he does. On to two. The E and P, but where's all the damage for right now? They're bashing down mid one, but he's still able to get the wave from away. Fearless not having the stun two. Soulbite, Raw, still the more flick protected for the moment. Spirit Vessel's out, though. He's falling low. Bashes are required, and they're there. They'll find the triple. Jackie's able to push on forward. What a great chrono, even without the damage, you just, you get there they're going to see though. the positioning though. Observer sentry, so die scout this out, Jackie instantly jumping on Roji. They try to get out of the chrono. chrono, it's on to two with a deafening blast combination with the cataclysm, they're going to be able to bring down both of them. More flink controlled, he's got the mantra if he wants to get out of the spirit vessel, but he's still going to get brought down, no, wave from away mid one, back to safety, tornado's going to end up clipping him, soulbind it's not enough, he'll fall, but he's got to buy back to rejoin the fight with the T1 tower, Cogs put back, back he's coming through from Maceros, look at the chain lockdown. The target prioritization, SMG will turn. They'll deal with the Invoker if he wants to try and rejoin the fight as well. But it's a heavy commitment from SMG. With the buyback from mid one, they've been able to catch oh. him out. Hex, figure it out. Mid one's in trouble. He needs help, but he needs it now. Cogs pushed away. But mid one, back down, waveform once again. Try to deal with the supports. He'll be able to do so. But it costs you your backline as well. And now mid one, he's got no escape. He's got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Waveform, tornado clips onto both. Fearless, a clutch buyback, giving them the control. It's an ultra for Jackie. Give him the rampage. Close the distance, it's there. A rampage for Jackie's Phantom Assassin. A rampage for the PA as well as... I mean, it might guarantee that... Jackie, you're a little far forward here. 
getting the denial from feeling their position. Oh, crit. Rips through Enchantress. Mastros, Kronos gonna be there once again. Cataclysm fall up, Morphling. He's been able to get the attribute shift. Gotta keep in mind, mid one doesn't have a buyback as well, so they need to bring him down if they can target him. He'll be able to get the Phantom Track away, thanks to the Replica, but Jackie is well He's and on truly online. Bash Coat, it's there! Q's clockwork the entire game has been so on point. Could come through. Uh oh, they're underneath an Observer Ward. Oh no, the triple as well, no bashes. Dagger, figure of death. They don't need no bashes when you got that amount of damage. KP will fall. And Mastros is still looking to sweep on the back. Mid one is really far outside the base. They get the bash first hit. Mastros has got to set up in the chronosphere as well. They're going to make sure they don't group up here. Mastros is actually going to try and blink on the high ground. Jackie doesn't have any backup at the moment. KP Raw controlling up through the magic immunity. They won't get the double Raw. A little bit too late on the use of the Soul Bind, but they've done a great job to kite that first use of the BKB. Neo getting rid of the supports as well. The Kronos Fury is a whiff from Masteroth. In fact, it controls up the Clockwork. So mid one, freely right clicking down Q. They'll lose the life of the support. Now it's a 3v2, but is it going to be enough for Bash? Masteroth. Can he control him up? He can't. They'll get the Cataclysm, but it's barely any damage. The main issue is, is that they need to protect mid one. Mantis still on cooldown. He's trying to play around with the attribute shift. Nia's helping out as well. Mid one gets the adaptive track. Mastros up on the high gun, back down. He goes with the bash. Mid one, he's in trouble. He's going to fall. Jackie will get him. Nia is bashed up as well. A triple for your Phantom Assassin, and they've had enough. Motivate. What an incredible comeback from them, able to take this game one. And another ultra kill. <laughs> Jackie, why not? I, he's going to get all the flashy highlights and everything else going on. The Rampage, you know, it adds price with how much he was able to get out of it, considering he was up against the Beastmaster, but, you know... Your hero. Going back for the Echo Saber build, uh, actually getting the objectives before those BKBs are available. Mine, We've got a trial end at the top here for Motivate, and Afu will be your first blood. We've seen previously, uh, it was Boom, I believe, that played this Lunar. It was like, how many heroes have we seen that are at least like platinum tier so far on it? It's kind of nuts. Yeah, my guy plays a little bit too much Dota, I think. KP? He's gonna die as well. So this try lane for Motivate is already starting incredibly well. Now they're about to hit- Be back here. Oh no, not like this. So we've got the Hex. Great LSA I from Arthur though. It'll give KP a little bit better positioning. But they still have the beam and Jackie <laughs> will pick up his- Here has certainly stemmed the bleed. Oh, yeah, mid one. No, you don't want to get solo killed, Maceros. In a matchup, is able to bring down mid one's void spirit and back up the top we go. Arfu's in trouble and Arfu's gonna get brought down plus 127 damage for Lion Axe's Elder Titan. And this is seven kills and honestly, they might just make it an eighth. Not even five minutes into this game, Motivate are completely running over the lanes. They're even gonna TP mid one up top, so they have had enough. Finally, we'll see a big uh, an LC. Although you compare the levels, level four times under versus a level eight LC. Oh, nice time from Fearless. They should be able to stop if they drag you back. No Fearless. I mean, if he dragged him back, he would have missed the combo. He's gonna miss the kill anyway. So that haste rune yeah. coming in clutch. He picks this one up. Oh. <laughs> and that Q actually. He doesn't keep going, does he? Oh, he's out of mana. Has to use the bottle charges. These haste is now expired. Nia? They're going to use the Tidebringer off the illusion as well. Even mid one's going to show up. Somehow Nia will end up falling afterwards. And now Mastros is looking to get involved. They don't have the X on mid one. So they will not. It's getting a little bit too keen. You know, it was a great play with the haste rune to be able to. Oh, Jackie. Uh... Man, look at that rocket barrage damage maxed out. They dropped the Eclipse. Shul's going to hold back the Gyrocopter. Now, they won't have the damage to kill off Nia. I think it was mainly just to protect the Lunar, but unfortunately, it's going to cost them both their life. Nia, again. Looking to find the kill on Fearless. Fatal Bonds is out on a couple. And it's a great pick off to start the fight. And Mastros as well is going to get caught out. So SMG grouping up early once again is able to find themselves two very, very impactful. Before, oh, oh, that's a big no, kill. See you later, Nia. 
A split up finger of death eventually into the duel. Some plus charges for both the Lion and the Legion Commander. Cancelling a small reason. They're going to go in. Misses it. Uh, going into the Echo Saber because it provides that little bit of an extra slow, a tiny bit more teamfight control. But, I mean, Witchblade provides that so much better for a Void Spirit in my mind. And it's always going to scale because it's based off of the the intelligence that you have. Rabbit John cooldown from KP. Very oh, tanky not. with the hood. See if mid one's able to jump the supports again. Through a lot of their control and a lot of their burst damage is what a golem buns! Again, four's gonna get linked. This time, Roji dropping it onto multiple heroes and they're gonna force motivate further back defensively under the tower a buyback will come through for the lion it's gonna try and offer some burst potential throughout the dual masters unable to get the victory even jackie's gonna look to show up as well but it's only three points in the beam and one in the eclipse so the damage is minimal at best even the bike yeah you know, cooldown dropped as well but dire they're the ones that need this quick burst and Q, press the attacks that one cooldown. Oh, used the jewel early. KP unable to get the hood off, and KP is going to lose his life. Jackie, just that extra level in the beam and the eclipse solo targeting the tide hunter. This is in trouble here. Has to be careful about his positioning. He's got his supports behind him. Doesn't get the hood off. LSA, Laguna Blade, plenty. Great use of the start there from mid one. And here's all these. And that was his dieback timer as well, so he's dead for the next 50 seconds. Still about 400 gold away from that blink dagger. It's going to be so huge for the turnaround potential. It'll allow him to play that little bit further back. We were just talking about the Aghanim Scepter on mid one. Being able to use his punishment. Masteros is actually in a bit of trouble on this top side, even with the Hood of Defiance. He's going to drop down. And he went away from the pipe as well. My award though around mid is giving them so much information. Like, it's just... Making it really difficult because we've seen. Uh, do you want to start on KP? Back so soon. Oh, I don't know. That's difficult to break down. Brock's going to get dropped as well. Mid one top of the back line. It's a three man silence, but KP will fall. He's got to buy back if he wants to try and look to rejoin the fight here, but the Echo Sump up to the northern side. Where's the extra fall up and where's the extra damage? Mid one. He's going to be okay, but it looks like it's a Delta split. As Motivate, they're happy with the pickoff they got. They will. Uh, they got to lose Iron Axe? They might not if there's no detection. Oh no, mid one's got a gem. He should be able to catch up. There we go. Still though, very happy with that. Able to take out KP. Follow up. He's even trying to get in the same position around that northern high ground spot. Roche is about to fall. There we go. Mid one instantly onto the line. KP with the Ravage as well, but the BKB is going to get popped. Both supports going to end up falling, but Mastros is just getting chunked down. Nia with this gyrocopter is now online. Gonna try and look to reset, die. They don't have any buyback, so they're gonna have to give this one up. As SMG's positioning and vision game is gonna be allow them to take three kills and also take Roshan as well. Another bit of a mistake coming out there from uh, Masaros, not using the active on the Hood of Defiance, just to give him that little bit of extra uh, survivability that he needs to get off the second press the attack in that team fight. I still think that kill is pretty difficult. Yeah. Just TP back here, Master Ross. Gotta be Not careful. Actually going for the duel. He's got the finger of death. Now this is where the rock's gonna be able to come into play with the eclipse dropped as well. They won't be able to get the dual victory, but it's important that they bring him down the first time. Can they do it a second though? Motivate. So difficult Jackie's to slow. reset with the upheaval. It's level four. Jackie BKB back up. Scotty just completed as well. They're gonna blink on forward. They need to try and protect Nia, but he doesn't have help. Oh, the glimmer! Nia! Back to safety, BKB, Phyllis, he's still hunting. Mid one's disrupting the back line as well. A one for one trade at the moment. They might be able to catch out Arfu. He'll sidestep the Echo Stomp. Great use of the defensive. Attack. E Jackie? You're on your own down here. Oh, Jackie? Oh, All right. That is a mistake we do not see often from Jackie. Wisely sticking together. They're under their observer ward. It's all smoked up. Mid one's they gonna won. pop it. They found him. Glimmer Cape protects win. him. KP is gonna try and disrupt the back line with the rock drop as well. Double ravage it, controlling up Jackie with the burst gonna come through with the glue blade. Jackie's falling low, but it'll turn. BKB eclipse pop, but he's unable to get any more life still back as Jackie will lose his life. Mastros unable to get in range to be able to protect him. It's a two for one, but they might make it a three for one here from SMG. Bird of Ape still in the area. 
They're pretty low on mid one. They gotta be careful. Mashos is looking to fight. Jules out. Feel it. He'll chunk him down. That extra attack speed, Solar Crest, AC, press the attack is enough to get something out. You got Maceros. He's He is your lifesteal, essentially. Not lifesteal, but, you know, sustain. Fearless again. Afu is not close enough this time. But Phil is still going to take a while to get on the high gun, so he's going to have to pop the BKB pretty early. They missed the LSA, actually. Another look to turn. Rabbit, KP, clips all four on the high ground. Press the attack. Still on Kuwait, I gotta keep in mind. Jump instantly on top of the backline, but the rock dropped as well. Earth split a follow up, but they've already lost two. The damage starting to flow in through the tail end of that fight here for Motivate. A one for two, buybacks on all the supports. You know where this is, where the next fight needs to happen. KP will lead. Got vision one, on the back line. Mid one's oh, gonna get one. caught. What an echo stun mid one brought down. He's gonna buy back. Instantly gonna use it. Let's see if Motive wanna stick around for more. The gem down on the deck. KP. Blink on four. The BKB is on Kuda. They need a protection with the pressy attack. Great oh, timing from Mastros. Jackie's gonna be able to reset here. A buyback's gonna follow up as well. Jackie, can he stand his ground? Laguna blade out. One follow up stun with the LSA and Jackie. He's no, unable no. to tank through the damage. They'll find a big Some kill on the Luna, and he bought out. He doesn't have a buyback now. Fearless might also end up falling so as well. Two down on Motivate. Out too. They both don't have buybacks. Free Roche, easy money. All the have that passive Jackie. life coming through. BKB is on cooldown. And Masteros is a Masteros? bit away. He doesn't have blink. Can they burst him? Masteros needs to get there. No! They've lost Jackie. They've lost Masteros too. This time, it doesn't look like SMG are going to throw their lead. Two down. No buybacks. Make it a third. Triple for Nia. The double damage. They should rip through the buildings here. What a scaling potential on the Jar. He turned up in this game. See what they can do. I mean, ET to delay is incredibly strong. You won't have Legion buyback for 2 minutes 50. And you're not going to have the Luna as well. BKB pop, but it doesn't matter. The G's Accord and SMG. They're able to take their last game before the playoffs here. Giving them a little bit of momentum to head into the lower bracket. Once again, they give Nia the reins. And he takes it and makes a lot happen. Oh, honestly, he didn't even do that much at the end of the day. Like a warlock with all of this AOE damage and you've only...